So we're back with another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create these types of animated reels in less than 10 minutes for free and it's going to be amazing. So these are popping off at the moment and you can use these for your content, you can use these for paid ads, it's just endless and these are trending at the moment. So just to show you what one looks like and then we're actually going to be building it in this video step by step. So let me just show you what this looks like. The more you write, the more ideas you have. The more you move, the more energy you have. The more you rest, the more time you have. Results demand momentum. So that is a small snippet and we're going to be building something similar to this. And I'm even going to show you how to get the visual elements, how to get the voice to speak over it and a lot more. So without further ado, let's just dive into it. The first thing we're going to do is head over to Canva. You know, if you don't know what Canva is, it's essentially where you just design um, visual stuff. So thumbnails, Instagram stories, just everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on create a design at the top right and we're going to search for Instagram Reels, which is here. Make sure it's 1080 by 1920. That is the format we are going to be using. And the first thing we're going to do is actually make the background black. So you do that by clicking on this button right here and just selecting black. Now, this is just because we want it to look like the ones that are out there. And what we're going to do now is something that not many people realize is you can actually go to elements in Canva. And if you just search for a simple thing like meditation, what you're actually going to get is if you click on this filter and go to animated and then look at see all, you actually get a bunch of these animations with like these boxes, which are really cool. And a lot of people use them um, right now. So you can see that's one. This one was similar to the one I just showed you in the video. So you basically get all of these animations, including these ones, inside Canva at no extra cost. So this is like amazing. We can actually use these in our videos. So let's just take this one, for example. Um, I always recommend getting your ideas from the actual um, visual things, like these animations in Canva first, and then we can actually speak over it. Or I'm actually gonna show you how to automate the speaking over it. But this is just good for getting ideas. So. If we take this one, you can see it's a box. So we could search on Google something like quotes about being trapped in a box or a box mindset or something like that. So if we simply go to Google and search for quotes about um, box mindset and we look at the um, the quotes, you're going to see that there's actually quite a lot of quotes that we can get inspired by. So um, you can see there's some here from Jay-Z, there's, there's so many different ones. But if we just take this one, which is an amazing quote saying, labels put people in boxes and those boxes are shaped like coffins, it's pretty powerful. And now you've just got the first segments that you can use in this video to, um, yeah, have as the background audio. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take this as inspiration and we're going to click on text. We're gonna do subheading and we're going to make it white. So I'm going to show you how to get the glowing effect on text after this in a second. So it's all going to come together. So just keep watching because it's really important you understand how to use this. So let's just put the quote saying labels put people in boxes. So that's the first part of the quote. And we're going to make this significantly shorter. Let's make it about 2.1 seconds. I recommend every two seconds you have something different visually and audio wise to keep the viewer engaged to increase watch time. So um, let's just use this as a two second segment to start the video saying labels put people in boxes and we've got this playing in the background. So now we're going to make this um, glow. So just click on neon and put it down to about, I don't know, five or seven intensity, whichever one you want. And we're going to click animate and we're going to make it a typewriter. Now you can obviously have whatever you want. I just like the typewriting effect. Um, and that is the uh, the first two seconds. And I recommend making reels about 10 to 15 seconds of these types of um, videos. But you can have these as ads, which also work equally as well. Um, so, yeah, now um, what we're going to do is we are going to copy this. So copy and we're going to paste it and we're going to add a transition in between. So a transition is basically just making it look clean from one part to another. So let's just use this dissolve. So if we click on this and... Um, I believe, I don't know why it's not giving like an example, but let's just use this um, because if we take this and then replace this with the second part of the quote, which was labels put people in boxes and those boxes are shaped like coffins. So let's go back to elements. Now let's search for coffins to see what we get um, as an example. And you can see there's a bunch of ones here. We're just going to take this one and it's like an animated coffin essentially, which is pretty cool. So let's just make it in the middle 
I don't know about you, but I always have to make sure it lines up equally. Um, so now we're going to change the text to, and those boxes are shaped like coffins. Perfect. Dot, dot, dot to make it more dramatic. And now we've got about four seconds of the video. So I recommend having about 10 seconds, but I just wanted to demonstrate how you would use these animations in the video. So if we play this now, you can see it types it out. It transitions into the next one very smoothly and you can even go to another one. So just keep adding these, changing it and using quotes on Google for um, ideation. Right. So that's my thought process behind creating these videos. And now what we're going to do is we're actually going to make a uh, someone speak in the background to make it line up really nicely. So we're going to head over to 11 labs. If you don't know what 11 labs is, it's essentially where you can clone your voice, but also use other people's like characters voices. So if you want this as your own voice, I've done that in the past. If you go to my Instagram um, and go to profile um, and we go to reels, you'll see that I posted this one, which was my AI cloned voice. Is your sign to dive in. Launch even if you think it won't sell. Approach even if you think you'll get rejected. Start even if you think people won't support you. So as you can see, that is my, that's not my actual voice. That's my AI cloned voice. So using 11 labs. So what we're going to do is we're going to do text to speech. And this is in the speech part of 11 labs. And we're going to put labels, put people in boxes. And those boxes are shaped like coffins, right? So we're just going to change the voice. I'm thinking like an old man would sound better with this. So if we go for this John Doe, I have crossed oceans of, I think that's perfect. So let's generate that. And you'll see that people in boxes and those boxes are so for some reason it didn't get the John Go. I think I didn't click the name, but if we click it now, labels put people in boxes. That is perfect. So let's just download that. So it's downloaded as an MP3, as you can see there. And now we're going to download the file right here. Or not not the file, but the the Canva that we had. So we've downloaded the audio. We've downloaded the um, background, and obviously let's actually let's delete this. And then download it again just so we get the the four seconds obviously you would make it 10 to 15 seconds and you would probably spend a bit more time than i have i've literally spent like less than a couple minutes like five minutes doing this so if you were to spend 20 minutes imagine how well you could do this and obviously each video you do you'll get better and better so now let's go to CapCut, and in CapCut, we are very simply going to click upload and we're going to upload the file that we just um, had and keep watching because I'm going to give you um, another way of getting more inspiration for your content in a few minutes. So keep definitely keep watching. But if we now um, let's just go for date added and you can see, I think this is the most up to date one. So this should be the one that we just made. So if we quickly look at this, yeah, perfect. So that's the one very simple. Um, so now let's just upload the extracted audio. So that's what we want because we want to put it behind. And we're going to click on this one, take this one, and now we let it play. Labels put people in boxes, and those boxes are shaped like coffins. So what we need to do is we need to make the audio a bit quicker. So if we look at where it finishes the first sentence. People in boxes. So if we click that. And those. So you can see that we can just basically make it a bit more speedy. So if we enter that, then go here. We, we just want to make it line up essentially, right? So those boxes are shaped like coffins. So that's a bit better. But obviously if you played around with it and just got the timing better, it would look amazing. So now if we just play it. Labels put people in boxes. Those boxes are shaped like coffins. So that is wonderful. Now you can make it 10 times better than this. I just wanted to demonstrate how you would go about building this. Um, and what you can do now is you can go to Instagram and you can find trending audio. I recommend going for audios that have under 10K uh, reels, meaning that not more than 10 people, 10,000 people have actually used it. Otherwise it can get a bit saturated. And you'd also want to go to um, a video like this where you can get free sound effects for video editing. So you can see that you get um, whooshes and you get other types of um, cinematic sound effects that you can use. The whole point was you can spend a lot more time and effort on this to make it like 10 to 20 times better than I've done in this video. I just wanted to show you how you can do it really quickly. So hopefully you found this video valuable. I recommend going to Pinterest uh, for inspiration as well because they actually have some really good ones as well, like Onward. So you could obviously get these types of animations in Canva like I've showed you. You can change the text, you can have 
the glowing effect um, and you can obviously get the sound effects from YouTube which I've shown you so um, it is possible to create way better than ones than I've done um, you can also go to Upwork and hire people to do it um, but hopefully this video gave you inspiration and yeah have a play around let me know what you think about it and I'll put some videos up here that you can watch um, which are just as valuable so take it easy like and subscribe if you haven't already and comment what videos you want next and I'll catch you in the next video take it easy